Welcome, chosen one. What's up, assholes? Welcome back to another Gwent video. Today we're gonna get religious. We're gonna praise the sacred flame. We're gonna follow our new leader, Cyrus Hemelfart. One of the new cards introduced a week ago, week and a half, two weeks? I guess we're approaching two weeks at this point. Now, this one is really cool. Uh, I, th I think both the Syndicate cards were very cool. They're both in this deck. We're going to talk about King of Beggars afterwards. But Cyrus Hemelfart is pretty, pretty crazy. He's 3 strength, 12 provisions, 1 armor, which, you know, it matters. Profit 4. Alright, pretty good. Deploy, spawn, and play Congregation. Okay, pretty good. You know, we're already at... That's 9 points across 4 bodies, as well as 4 coins for 12 provisions on deploy. Okay. Fee 2. Destroy an allied Firesworn token, then summon a bronze Firesworn unit from your graveyard to the same position. Cooldown 1. It's only once per turn. But, you know, this, this does mean that for 2 coins... We destroy a 2-strength token, and we bring back a 4-strength Fallen Knight. And we can do that once per turn. If our Fallen Knight gets killed, we do it again. As long as we have tokens, as long as we have just a handful of coins, we can do this. So, pretty crazy. This card is pretty crazy. We've seen worse, we've seen crazier, which is why I think maybe this is okay. But it's so awesome, there's so much, you know, mixed into this one card. And it makes sense, you know, he's the big boss, so he, you know, there's a congregation, people gather around, and then he, you know, grants them powers, and yes, you are now a fallen knight, as opposed to just a priest. We also do have the King of Beggars. A 4 for 10, fee 1, boost out by 1. While in deck, whenever you pay a tribute, remove a counter for each coin paid. For each removed counter, gain 1 coin back. When the counter reaches 0, sum itself from the deck to a random allied row. He has 9 counters, so you can pay up to 9 coins of tribute, get the coins back, and at the ninth one, he'll come out. Very, very strong card. I've seen multiple ways to use this. Obviously, there are multiple ways. You know, you play him in an all-out tribute deck. Uh, your first nine coins of tributes are free. Uh, some people are just playing this alongside Savola, who uh, has a tribute of nine. And when you get that nine tribute for free, and you get that 11-point Frightener, and then you get this guy out of the deck, that's a lot. That's very good. Like, like, the fact here is, this guy is worth so many points. Like, like if you look at this and think, oh, it's it's a 4 for 10 roach. It's it's a winter cream, just more expensive. You are so wrong. Because he's just worth so many points. Even if you don't get him out. Even if you only get 8 coins of tributes paid. Which, unfortunately, this deck does a lot it seems for me that's still eight free coins that you got across the match for a card that's just in your deck it didn't do anything you didn't have to play it you didn't have to draw it it's just eight free coins and if you get to the ninth free coin you also get four free points and a spender it's so insane and i'll show you right now why he's in here because we have some tributes obviously jacques as a tribute of four. And uh, we have the Clerics of the Flaming Rose. They have a tribute of two. We have two of those. Firestone Scribe, same thing. Two of those, tribute two. And one Keeper of the Flame with a tribute of four, which can be reduced by one for each Cleric we have. I, I often find myself having two Clerics, so this is like a tribute two for like a 12 point card. Very good. Very good. Now, I would like more tributes, because I have missed King of Beggars more than I'm comfortable with. But like I said, 
Even if you miss him. Still good. Still good. Now, I saw Spessy had Salamander Mages instead of Cleric of the Flaming Rose. Obviously, they have Tribute 4, which makes King of Beggars easier to pull out. And they also have their own cost reduction thing going on. Effective cost reduction. You get coins back. But, you know, honestly, like, it's, it's fine. I think it's good. If you want to play these, I definitely think it's good. Uh, but for the sake of flavor... I didn't want to keep them in, and like, the tributes we have, we kind of want to play early, while this has to wait until we have three targets to damage, and then we're not really getting any engine payoff for this, so I cut it, but the deck could definitely use like one more tribute card. I think one more tribute card would could be enough to uh, consistently get King of Beggars. Otherwise... It's a very traditional Fire Swarm deck. You know, we're playing the Swarmy cards. We're playing the Swarmy payoffs. And, uh... It's fun. You know, I've always liked Fire Swarm. I think it's a, a really cool archetype. And, obviously, I've gone for the no-removal route once again. You guys know me. I like to, uh... Drop all the removal and just play by myself. Because, honestly, that's more fun. Until I lose. Match after match after match. Because I couldn't remove the big bad thing. But that is fine. It's fine. We're just going to do our own thing. We're just going to praise the Sacred Flame. We're going to have a good time. Um, yeah, that's not much more to say. It's good. I've, I've made a few last minute tweaks. So this exact version of the deck is untested. But for the most part, obviously, it, it plays the same. It's Fire Sworn. Saving the deck takes forever. So I think I'm just going to skip to the gameplay. Thank you for watching. I hope you end up enjoying the video. And I hope I do too. Let's uh, skip to some gameplay. Enjoy. Alright, first stuff is going to be a Syndicate Mirror. I think just tributes. Yeah, just... You know, just tribute stuff is is the the syndicate stuff I see the most of recently, so uh, that's okay. Um, hmm. I would have wanted a bit more spawning. I think we can go straight into this. You know, we, we don't have to be too afraid of wasting our Fallen Knights, because we now have ways to bring them back. So besides the three, we already can play. We can now also res as many as... As many as... Uh, our Graveyard and our Hemelfart's lifespan. <laughs> Uh, will allow. I probably just play another one. Give what we demand, not harm a hair on your wench's head. <sighs> just, just in case of a second renegade mage, that would suck. I kind of hate this. Our opponent is taking it slow with some bronzes. Luckily, I can do the same thing. And we also have drawn quite a few tribute cards, so for once, King of Beggars won't be a problem. So you need five tokens for this to just be a 12. Um, two, three, four, five. Or we just win round one on even. Interesting.
Back is good. I I want to do one more mulligan. But if we draw a king. Okay. That's okay. Now he's at seven, right? So if I pay no more than six tributes, I can have him as extra tempo for a short round three. Potentially with a shock. I don't mind that at all. Obviously winning winning on even. It's pretty good. Now from this deck, I'm definitely expecting that Savola thing. Which is going to be pretty big. In a short round, but uh, if we bleed enough. There are very few problems a solid bleed has been unable to solve. Alright, so... As long as we have two clerics, and this tribute only costs two, we can keep King of Beggars in the deck for, uh, for just a little bit of a bonus. Alright. No problem. Any coins with the scribe? This guy getting that tribute. That's huge. I mean, I know that's actually quite a while ago. It's not a recent thing. But I haven't played Firesworn since that happened, I'm pretty sure. And it's just huge. Like it's it's a two for two coin to points ratio, and you just get a a better guy. I mean, I should be saving my coins. By penance, you your but at the same time... That value was just too good to be true. Uh, okay. Leader charges all gone. All of them gone. Well, now I don't have clerics for this. So that's fun. Good card to get out. Okay. That was, uh... Honestly, I'm glad that ended. Because any any match where Horson's Freak Show enters the battlefield and it's just going to stay there. It's just not fun. <clears throat> All right. Anything that's not blue stripes commandos, I'm okay with. What is this? Fruits of Iskith. Okay. I'm intrigued. Hmm. At least I have yet to go first. If 
They have a griffin, that was not a mistake. Do you have a griffin? Of course, it's a very good card. Just taking it easy. Just chilling. Yeah, you have dominance. Maybe I should have used Ulrich on this. I can do it on Cleric. Or I can just try to save it. Is that greedy? Is saving it greedy? Let's say it's not. You know, Congregation hits less hard when you don't have a Fallen Knight, you know? Because it's just that, uh, six points, and I got a coin. Woo! Iggy. I gained one more coin than I should have. That's my bad. I don't have a spender. But I guess I'll play this while I can. Should I stop? I mean, they're, they're four passive points a turn, plus three Thrive Engines, if they were to play big boys. It's kind of scary. And I... didn't have much to compete with. Alright. Good. I'm gonna need both of those, so I'm happy about this. I think I'll actually uh, take some epic mulligans there. Probably a bleed. Yes, it's a bleed. Yes! Very good. This at six strength. Holy shit. I don't think there's a reason to miss the thrive anymore, dude. We should probably stop. I like Incubus. I really do. And the fact that it got buffed... That's fun. That is fun. You usually don't see that outside of decks with the frost. Uh, they don't have Sabbath yet, but they are definitely going to get it. What 
is this? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's enough. Alright, I thought it was enough. No passive point gain. Good. That is slow, and that is so stupid. That. Now I just feel bad. I mean, I probably don't have to feel bad. Alright, Furco. Furco four. Disarray. If so, then I kind of want to wait. Uh, am, am I? Kind of panicked there. I should have waited, or just should have made a decision. Uh, I mean, we're just playing against big, big bum bums. I don't hate it. Ten. God, I'm an idiot. I'm being so greedy. Like, it's not even funny. Okay. Yeah, I should have just played these in the reverse order. I knew he was going to play that card. Okay, I need 12 points. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Eleven. No, you know what? Fuck it. Halt. In the order's name. I confiscate these goods. I really am one point off. Yeah, I I got so greedy and I got punished. I could have preserved at least one leader charge there if I had just behaved like a reasonable person. What are you at? Five? They have seven points of carry over, but I have an extra card, and I have a Mr. Mr. Big Boom Boom Fart himself. And if my opponent's deck is as point slammy and uninteractive as I hope it is. It wasn't. But we're still good. And I am I'm missing King of Beggars. We I don't have enough tributes. And I know it. I mean I have enough in the deck to actually get him. I curse your name, I okay. your soul. Pretty good card. Considering that I 
don't otherwise have a spender, that's a very good card. Yeah, I completely screwed myself. Um, you know, I'd say I still deserve the win because... Because it was... Like, I, I screwed up big time and I still won by this much. Uh, I think this is a matchup that's fairly good for us. Like, we have to survive round one, and that's hard. And I got out of round one, uh, very bad foot. Well, like the only the only thing that, that saved me there was that I had an extra card, and despite some some big blunders, I was able to maintain that extra card. And that card being Hamel Fart did, did not hurt. This is going to be very bad. I feel like I feel like a recurring theme besides me never going first. I feel like a recurring theme here is that every matchup feels bad in some way. Mainly because of round one. I'm, I'm one of those people. I'm terrified of round one. I don't, I don't know if I just give it too much power, or if I'm being reasonable. I just feel like so many matches are more or less predetermined in round one. A lot of matches are predetermined just by the matchup, like on the versus screen. Luckily, I don't think it's that bad. Mm. We're going to start with this. Luckily, we don't care too much about all this armor. Like, Disarray is the only card that matters for that. And as long as there's one card on the board that doesn't have armor, we should be fine. On the bad side, a lot of our cards. Like, they, they, they're pretty good at dealing with the, with the tiny boys. How are we on tributes? I have four points of tribute this round, which means I just need to draw Jacques and one more tribute. Which is harder than it would seem. He is gaining. He's gaining armor, but like I said, I mean they 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 have ways to exploit their own armor, of course, which is why the deck works in the first place. Like without ways to really capitalize on this armor, I don't know how good it would be. But like even just this. Just two armor on a dim and light longship. It's hot. Mm, could I play a crime here? You know, I'm also very insecure right now about how how all these matches would have gone if I hadn't been blessed by the red coin every match. Like our opponent here was forced to just, you know, play a coral proactively without even triggering it. Which was a very safe move. But prior to recording today, I did have Horse on Jr. in the deck. Just saying. Hmm. 
Someone's getting cocky. Why is that? Why are you getting cocky? Go on, ping the token, I dare you. I'm, I'm attempting to threaten my opponent in a way that I am in no position to actually do. The point totals speak for themselves. I... I should not be here right now. Hey, you did it. Okay, well, if you do it like that, that's fine. See, I think this is the point where, uh, where I pass. I got a leader charge out of him. Um, I don't fear the long round too much, because uh, I know my cards are going to die anyway. I'll have plenty of room. Plenty of room. Ergo, this guy is maybe not too useful. I could say the same about you, my friend. That's better. We're getting King of Beggars. We are getting King of Beggars. That's a big plus. However. Seven armor. Like I care. Should care. Somebody's all in. Now this is spooky. Somebody's all in. Do I play Hemelfart? Do I play Hamelfart? I mean, he has one armor. I mean, that alone is kind of funny. Let's do it. Can you kill them both? I guess he could just pass. Yeah, that's right, seven, Kieran. You didn't strike me as a person who would pass. You're not a passer. You're a pusher. Pusher of narcotics, perhaps? I am not one to judge. You're all playing pirates. Can you kill them both? No? Although that... It's pretty big. Oh, the, the double with the ships and the such. Oh, hell yeah. I kind of want a Furco just for congregation now.
shit. Unfortunately, that didn't quite do it. You know, a couple of longships will do that to you. Go on, Rain. Hit another one. See what I'll do. Check out my moves. Oh, uh, yeah. Do I want the coin guy or the non-coin guy? I think I actually want the coin guy. Because of... The armor and transform him into potential. Alright. Now, with the rain. Okay. Even with some, some rainy misfortune, I'll still be ahead. How he has lived this long, I do not know. But this guy is pulling his weight. And look at the man. That says a lot. You have my sword, and I'll that Putting rupture on a four... <laughs> On a three strength unit. God, I love Hemelfart. Do we do the coins again? Or just the boost? I think I'll do the boost. Alright, I lose three, and then up to two more. Oh, this... This is good shit. Cyrus Hemelfart. He's... It's so good to just turn these tokens into engines. Engines. And even if they die immediately... It was still a 2 for 2 coin to points ratio because you're turning a 2 into a 4. But then they're engines. It's a fat guy making a bunch of engines. It's me. It is me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know what? I don't care if you want to be mad that I only upload matches where I win. Okay. These are the fun ones. How many leader charges do I have? Uh, if only you could tell me. I have at least two, right? Oh, I have all three. I have all three. Well, King of Beggars. I must act. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. I mean, I guess, in case I get this, I should probably have some coins, right? Should have some coins. If I do this, I 
banish one of these. Whoa. I mean, Desiree here is 11. He's 10. Alright. Crushing victory. Hmm. Pirates, though. Gotta respect them. Gotta respect those those crazy dudes. Alright, I was gonna play at least one more match to potentially get some better clips for you, but uh, the servers are really pooping themselves. They really are. Uh, but I think I, I I have what I came for. I just, uh, you know me, I like to get greedy. And uh, <laughs> sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Fire Swarm. You know, it, it, it suffers from uh, you know, a problem that you know quite a few decks do suffer from. Quite a few decks that I enjoy playing. And that is a lack of interaction. That's... Like that, that is a type of playstyle that you often get punished for. Uh, because greedy shit has gotten really greedy. You can kill it, and then it's fine. You can let it live. And your opponent gets a lot, a lot, a lot of points. And that's just no fun. So that's definitely one thing. Uh... You know, on the bright side, you know, if you do want to play Fire Swarm, um, you, but you know you want to have more interaction, you can definitely do that. You can, no problem. Just implement some more uh, removal into this. You know, some uh, some paydays. Uh, you know, I used to have Horse on Junior in here. You know, obviously. If you want to cut some of the bronze, you know, engines and whatever for, you know, for some removal, some paydays, whatever. You know, you can take out, you know, keep it the flame. You can take out the scribes, the clerics. Pfft, sorry, there's a little fly here. You, you can take out a lot of these cards. Just put in some removal instead. Uh, probably drop the king of beggars. Put in horse on junior. You know, same provision cost. Uh, Tavern Brawl can be interesting. It's, it's not like super secure removal, but it definitely works. <laughs> Stupid fly, what the hell are you doing? It's winter. Go die. So, so yeah, if, if you do want to play Fire Swarm, but you want to be more interactive than me, which I, I can't blame you, you can definitely do that. So, that's... Y you don't... You're not visible on the camera, okay? You're not getting 15 minutes of fame just because you're in my face. So that's, you know, the bright side. That's the good news. The bad news is that, as with a lot of the decks I like to play, uh, it's, I don't know how competitive it is. I mean, when, when your stuff sticks and you have the, the synergies and the combos going, we have some massive cards. Desiree, Sacred Flame on a big board. Holy shit, that's a lot of value. For relatively cheap cards. Desiree, you get to play twice, maybe. Uh, Fallen Knights. Obviously, just synergize with your whole deck. Hemelfart, obviously the star of this video. And the main reason I wanted to make it. So at least I'm happy he got to, to shine a little bit. Uh, this card is definitely, definitely good enough. Uh, it's it's very archetype specific, which I think is very good, especially in Syndicate, because like, we've all seen how Syndicate has gotten all these super powerful legendary cards in recent times, and they've been so easy to just put in any Syndicate deck you want, and then you see them everywhere. This can't really be like that. It's it's very dependent on. Uh, a dedicated Fire Swarm playstyle to, to be good. 
which is nice. I like archetype specific cards. Um, and what else is there to say? King of Beggars. I enjoy this way of using King of Beggars. You know, just to have some incidental tributes in your deck that just end up being essentially free. And you, you have enough to be able to get them out. Not as consistently as I would like. So if I were to continue playing this, I would try to get one more tribute card in the deck. Or maybe just switch to Salamander Mages just for the bigger tributes. Um, but but th this way of using King of Beggars, I'm actually a big fan of. I think this is way more interesting and more fun than just slamming a uh, big Savola. Although that's perfectly viable as well. That that's a strong finisher. And it's, it's certainly a pretty badass way to use it. So, you know, as for Syndicate, you know, it is it is probably my least favorite faction. Um, it has some cool archetypes, and, and Fire Swan in particular is actually very high up there for me. Uh, but I gotta say, in terms of the new cards we got recently, Syndicate, one of my favorites. Uh, their two new cards are, are very cool. I, I love what they add to two decks, to the faction. Uh, you know, Cyrus is more straightforward. Like, okay, you play Fire Sworn, you put in Cyrus. It's very obvious what he does, what he's supposed to do. But in a really cool, very fun way. And then you have King of Beggars, which just has uses... Like, outside of Tribute. Like you look at the card and you think, okay, this is a card for Tribute decks. It has plenty of uses outside of that, which makes it more flexible and more interesting. Which I think is very cool. Otherwise, obviously, I love all the cards in the deck, but... Uh, you know, it does suffer from uh, Ace of Play Syndrome. Of not being very interactive and therefore... Getting crushed by anyone that's abusing anything... Because they're usually abusing it, abusing it harder than I am abusing this. Fall and I could get pretty crazy though. I'm not gonna lie. Thank you for watching. I hope you had some fun watching this video. Uh, syndicate videos usually don't do as well, but uh, because of my recent absence, no video would have done well today. So uh, it was a, it was a good chance to try out these new syndicate cards because I did legitimately. Look forward to trying out these new cards. Uh, and the fact that they both fit into the, the Syndicate archetype I appreciate the most. That's just lucky. You know, it was fun to revisit Firesworn, try out some new cards. Uh, it's cool. It's fun. Probably won't do it again for a while. There's a reason there's a huge gap between Syndicate videos. The faction overall doesn't interest me that much. Like I, like it's not like I can't see how people would like it. It's just it's not for me. Maybe it's too technical. Maybe it's too advanced for my simple brain. I don't know. What I do know is, I gotta play some Skellig soon. So maybe next video. I don't know. I haven't got a got a, a full deck prepared yet. But if you have any suggestions. For, for Skellige decks or any deck, let me know. I would love to have a look. Until next time, though, have a good one. Stay safe. And uh, enjoy Gwent or whatever else you're uh, doing with your time. Bye.